I have the rather grim duty of bringing you the latest pronouncements from Donald Trump, the President of the United States of America. Now, Donald Trump's admirers and supporters in this country, you will remember, were incandescent with rage when Barack Obama accepted an invitation from a British Prime Minister to comment on our trade prospects in the event of leaving the European Union. And Barack Obama broke all the rules, according to Donald Trump's admirers in this country, when he said gave his considered opinion that it would put us at the back of the queue as far as he was concerned as American president. You don't need me to mention names, Nigel Farage, of people who were absolutely furious at this perceived interference in our affairs from a foreign politician. Okay, so if you see any of those people today, you, you, I, I would advise you to tread very carefully because they are going to be furious. Donald Trump's just tweeted this, and I wish I was joking. I think by now you know I'm not. The wacky ambassador that the UK foisted upon the United States is not someone we are thrilled with. A very stupid guy. I imagine, for example, that Kim Darroch doesn't believe that aeroplanes were around in 1776. He should speak to his country and Prime Minister May about their failed Brexit negotiation and not be upset with my criticism of how badly it was handled. I told Theresa May how to do that deal, but she went her own foolish way, was unable to get it done. A disaster. Donald Trump's advice, as far as anybody is aware, is that he told Theresa May she should sue the EU. I, I'm not currently au fait with any advancement or elaboration upon that advice. Um, I don't know the ambassador, but have been told he is a pompous fool. Good grief. Thank God he's not interfering in British politics or diplomatic relations, because that would be awful. I imagine if he'd, if he'd said something about the prospects of a future trade deal at the invitation of the British Prime Minister. That would be really bad, right? The wacky ambassador that the UK foisted upon the United States is not someone we are thrilled with. And we're back to Steve. Why, why do you let him get away with this stuff? He's maligning our country. He's insulting our traditions. He's mocking our prime minister. He's insulting the office of, of prime minister and the incumbent. Oh, because it really annoys anti-racists, James. That's it. That's it.